This is the story of refinishing an old dresser into a mid-century modern piece of art. If you like the video, give the video a big thumbs up please if you could, and definitely subscribe for more content just like this. What you're looking at right here is a free, yes I said free, a free dresser that my dad found just two houses down from us sitting on the curb awaiting for the garbage truck to come and put it out of its misery. How sad is that? Luckily, my dad had the bright idea to snag it, take it back to our house originally to save for my sister for her college dorm room. It then sat in our basement for a year or two, awaiting for my sister to take it to school with her. However, she never took it. Enough time had passed to the point where I had gotten myself a new hobby and decided to start flipping furniture. As generous as my dad is, he was nice enough to give up the dresser my sister once was going to take and I then decided to give it a makeover. Now, let's talk about what I did to prepare the dresser for paint. As you can see here on screen, I'm holding a bottle of solution called Method Daily Wood Cleaner, which I used to clean the dresser. I sprayed just a little bit on a dry paper towel and I wiped down every surface, every nook, and every cranny that I could see. After completing the much needed cleaning, I then let it sit 15 to 20 minutes and I gave it another good cleaning. After the second cleaning, I was then ready to give it its first coat of paint. As you can see here on screen, this is me painting a desk. The reason why I'm showing you this clip is because I do not have any footage of me painting the dresser. Now I do apologize for not having the footage of me painting the dresser. However, I can assure you that it did look something like this. The paint that I use for the dresser is called Beyond Paint. It's a sealer, primer, and paint all in one. And what's really nice about this paint is the application process. How you apply this paint is just by simply rolling it on with a roller and using a brush. A roller is used for the larger surface areas while the brush is used for the cracks and corners of the piece. Another really cool thing about Beyond Paint is there's no sanding or stripping required before painting the piece. You can find Beyond Paint at your nearest Home Depot for around $45 per quart. And although that may be a hefty price tag up front, I can assure you that it will last for many pieces to come if you are continuing to paint more stuff in the future. By the way, no, this is not a sponsored video. After I completed painting the dresser, I then moved on to the drawers. As you can see here in the video, this is what the drawers looked like before I started sanding them down. I then carried them out into the garage where I prepped them to be sanded. In the video, I used a sander which I bought from Home Depot for $40. It's a little Ryobi corded sander. The specific sander that I had purchased came with a traveling bag and some sample sandpaper. What I had used in the video was 180 grit sandpaper on the drawers and what I did was I kept sanding the drawers down until that old finish had gone away completely, leaving just the look of the raw wood behind. After the sanding was complete, I wiped them down with the same cleaner that I had used earlier. I carried them down back into the basement and I applied three coats of sealer to them. At this point, a couple days had passed and the sealer that had been applied to the drawers had cured all the way. What had happened next was I purchased a bottle of some spray paint that I got from my nearest Ace Hardware store and the color I got was this gold color and I set all the knobs up on a piece of cardboard and I then sprayed all of the knobs with this spray paint. After I set up all the knobs, I carried up the piece of cardboard with the knobs up to the garage where I can spray them down and I applied the first coat and because I did this in the winter time, I carried the piece of cardboard with the knobs back down to the basement so then they could dry properly. If you've liked what you've seen so far, give the video a like and please subscribe if you could. After that, I eventually said, screw it, I'm just going to paint the rest of the coats down in the basement. <laughs> After waiting a few hours and letting that paint fully cure onto the hardware, I then went down into the basement later that evening and assembled the hardware back onto the dresser and staged the dresser for pictures.
I really like the way that this dresser came out. So here is a little video of me taking a picture with the dresser. After I was done taking the pictures, I posted it on Facebook Marketplace for $150 and left it up for one night, regretting my decision not to paint those two wooden bars that are on the front facing side of the dresser. I then went back the next day and painted those two bars and within one extra day on Facebook Marketplace, I had an offer for $150 for the dresser. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video and if you liked it give the video a like and subscribe for more videos just like this thanks a lot for watching take care we'll see you next time